Hey everyone, Ron here. Hey, I wanted to do a quick video. I've done this one before, but a friend of mine here in my hometown had uh, questions and asked me to clarify so he could calculate his pocket toughness of his new pool table. So I thought I'd make another video and just kind of go over it once again. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, here's my Olhausen Belmont table. Fairly new, I've had it for like about 120 some days, 125 days I think. I wanna say this too, before I bought this, I really had no clue of what, of what I'm about to show you. And <laughs> I'm so glad that I got this table as after I found out all of this information. And I'll, and I'll explain how we're gonna calculate this toughness, or the toughness of these pockets here in a second. But just getting back to that story, when I bought this table, I said to the owner of the, of the store, I wanted a high quality table and I, I wanted to have something that was a little bit on the tougher side because I wanted to learn the game and I figured if it had a tough uh, you know, pocket, because I did know that some tables have tougher pockets than others, that it would help me in becoming a better pool player. So as I found out, after playing on a bar box table, of uh, a neighbor friend of mine, holy smokes, I got this table and it was so hard to pocket balls. I was like, what is going on here? Well, I found this on the internet and I gotta, I gotta give kudos to Dr. Dave. He's amazing, man, he has some great videos. But um, this right here is, and I'm not 100% sure that if he came up with it, but I know he talks about it and it's about pocket toughness and how to calculate it. So let me just show you, uh, first of all, let me, before I show you, I wanna tell, tell you a little bit about this bar box table. There's a rating here and it falls in these numbers. And if you'll notice, like extra tough, tough, easy, extra easy. Imagine this, that's the highest number is 27. My neighbor's bar box table is like 32.4, not even on this chart, extremely easy pockets. Once again, they want to have you drop money in their table to get as many balls through there as possible to get the games, you know, moving along quickly. And I can see that's good business. Okay, so now let's calculate my table. There's, there's three dimensions that we're looking for here. And that is the opening width. That's the point of the, ray, uh, the cushion, point to point. In this case, it happens to be four and five eighths. And then we've got to look at the the width of the throat, and that's the area where the drop-off is. In fact, I use this straight edge. That's the drop-off, okay? In that, in that dimension from that point out in front of the opening, back, okay? So that's the, that right there is the width of the throat. So we got four and five eighths, and we got four and a quarter inches right there. We gotta write those two numbers down. Now we also have the dimension from the drop off to the points. And that happens to be two inches. So it's two inches from this width back to here where the ball drops in the hole. So that's a criti critical dimension that, that really gives us our number. So here it goes, four and five eighths times four and a quarter divided by shelf depth, which is two inches. Now that gives me a value of, in this case, 9.82. 9.82 on the chart falls right in here, between seven and 11, or extra tough. So that's pretty cool to know. When I found that out, I, I, then, I then knew that I had a table that would reject balls if I if I powered them into the corner pockets from down the rail, let's say, and, or if I hit just before the rail, it wouldn't quite go in. It's just a little bit tougher. I will say a diamond table. I love diamond tables too. I think, I think these, the Olhausen and the diamonds are probably the best tables made today. Uh, down at our local pool hall, I measured the opening because I noticed that table, before I got this one uh, set up in my home, I was practicing at that pool hall. It was so difficult to pocket the balls. Now keep in mind, mine is four and five eighths wide. The diamond table was 
four and a half, only an eighth of an inch difference. But for some reason, it was so difficult, and I even think today that this one's easier than what that diamond is. I'd like to calculate that out. Someone told me that it was in the seven something range, which if that's the case, you know, me being a, a 9.82, you can see there's quite a difference. So just something to know, you got a table at home. I think you'll be interested to, to, to check it out and to see what uh, yours is rated. And uh, at least you'll have some knowledge as to what your table's all about. But go ahead and give it, a, give it a try, punch in the numbers, see what it's all about. If you have any questions, just go ahead and fire them at me and I answer everything, no big deal. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel. Um, we have fun here. It's, uh, we've got some guys that uh, we share ideas back and forth. We share drills. You know, we, we try to better ourselves at pool. That's really what it's all about. We're all into it big time and we have a passion for the sport. So have fun calculating your table uh, pocket toughness. And uh, like I say, give me a shout if you have any questions.